Lia script macros are little injections that help you to deal with tedious and repetitive tasks. Macros are defined within the main comment of every document. There are built-in macros that provide meta information such as a author or a comment. If you think of macros, just think of text substitutions that are injected into the document. Every macro starts with an at, such as the following, which is called at hello Bob. Thus, a macro can be an injection of a markdown snippet, HTML or JavaScript. You can attach a comment to every section title and override an existing macro or define new ones. But these marcos only exist within this single section. It also possible to pass parameters to a macro. These are then injected into the placeholders that are marked with at 0 to at 9 and parameters can also be macros. And macros can also call other macros with predefined value. Since parameters are separated with commas and you need to pass one parameter with one or multiple commas, you can use backticks to surround your parameter. If you need to preserve the structure and indentation, you can use the block syntax. It does not start with colon, as the others and you need to use at end to mark the ending of the macro. Use the import macro to refer to your document or to another to load the macros. JavaScript and CSS that are defined within the main comment. Take a look at the libraries that you can use. Whatever is possible in the browser can so be embedded also into LiaScript in a readable format. 